Today the Aurora Police Department did a multifunctional drill with Buckley Air Force Base, the Fire Department, CU Police Department, and the school district security teams. We put some stuff into place that taxed the officers with sound and gas and or smoke to try to make the officers think to try to get through what they're doing. Overall, it went great. There's some great lessons learned between the police department and the fire department, what we can do better in the future, the lessons that we learned. Um, all this is there so uh, we can keep our citizens safe. Cruiser 23, do we have anybody slow clear on the east side of this building? Uh, our engine was one of the first fire department engines to arrive and in charge of medical care. Um, as a company officer, I became the extraction officer, which was supervising all the crews that were inside assisting APD with searching and removing any patients that were found inside the building. Um, this is incredibly important as it gets demonstrated in events across the nation every day, it seems like. And it's incredibly important that we're communicating with each other, both for the efficiency of the scene as well as um, just for officer and, and, and firefighter safety. Stand over here for me, okay? Do you have any weapons on you, dear? No. Nothing? No. Take a quick look in your purse, okay? Okay. We've, we've got to do these drills. We've got to work with our partners, public education, law enforcement, and fire. Um, we've got to work with them, uh, um, so we're prepared for those incidents, and it's second nature to us. We're able to um, know what the other um, other jurisdiction is expecting. That I was part of the planning team, so I knew that we were going to have uh, you know uh, different partners coming to do this together. Uh, but I didn't realize how big it was going to be and how much we were going to uh, you know participate together in this. But uh, it definitely met my expectations, if not exceeded it. You know because uh, we provided the smoke. I think that that helped a lot. You know uh, it changed the way people felt and the way they responded, you know, and so we were glad to be a part of that. We're not getting any information as to exactly what the scenario is going to be. It's an ever-evolving thing for us. Uh, all the information that we get is all dispatched real time. Um, we were pretty secure in that room, I thought, for a while, but uh, their movement was very good. I could hear them on the outside. Uh, when they came in to confront me, uh, they were in the room, uh, had me under control in no time, and got me out of there pretty quick, so they did, really did a good job. For the most part, like even as soon as they came in, they just kind of checked. The first question was, uh, does anybody have any injuries? Has anybody been in here? Is there a shooter in here? Like, just the basic questions, stuff like that. But other than that, they were really calm with us, collected everything. There wasn't too much, like, yelling, anything like that. So today was a good opportunity to work with all of our public safety partners, Aurora Fire Rescue, Red Cross, Aurora Public Schools. This is very important that law enforcement and public safety in general do these training exercises so that we are prepared because we never know when and where this is going to happen.